Okay, this was the last room. When the ships are ready to get the slaves to the new, the enslaved to the new world, they did not go through the same door we came from. They had to go through an underground passage, which was here. We're not saying that because the entrance is blocked around 1834 to mark the end of the slave trade. This thing was not here at the town. The, this one was the selection room, picking out the weak slaves from the strong ones. The weak souls were left there to allow the strong ones go. After that, these weak souls would wait for the next shipment but without any medical attention. Meaning your survival depended on the strength of the immune system. If grace found you in time, I mean, if you survived, fine, but if you died, there was no burial for any black slave here. All of them were dumped into the sea. Well, look around, we have these reed flowers brought in by people like us in the memory of those who lost their lives in the castle. This is a shaman. The stone you see with the money, blood all around it, it is a god for some Africans. It used to form part of the entire rock on which the castle was built. But after our people gave the land out to the Europeans, the Europeans stopped the natives from worshiping the entire rock. Why? Because they bought the land. And two, because the Bible tells them that God is not to worship through anything he's made, but through who? Jesus Christ that he's the way, the truth, and the life, that nobody ever gets to get to the Father except through him. The natives were so determined to worship the rock, so what they did was to cut portions of the rock, one, two. They cut the pieces, took them from here before the castle was built. The pieces were brought back here after the end of the slave trade. There are people who still believe in the rock as their God, so they come here to worship. So we got a seat reserved for those who still believe in the rock as their God. <laughs>